India currently has one doctor per 1456 people as against the WHO recommendation of one doctor for every thousand people. The dream of becoming a doctor for thousands of young Indians begins from small towns and villages as you mentioned. But aspirants have always far outnumbered the vacancies available at affordable government-run colleges. Clearly, supply is more than the demand. So, do you think this is an opportunity to nurture the great demographic dividend by training young people who want to be doctors? It's a very, very important but a difficult question. I say that, you know, we have got a large chunk of civic demographic divide now. India is a young country, I'd say that. We've got approximately 10% of the population, nearly 10% now, which is going to be over 60 years of age. Our life expectancy as of now is, but predominantly as of now, we are young. If you will see less than 18, we've got about 30%, and then we have about that, you know, uh, the rest of the segment of the population comes as about, you know, I'll say 30 plus 60, 30 plus of the population that is about 18 years of age, and then about 8% plus, you know, and then to 60 plus, you know, because as I said, that this population will also increase. But what we have to look at is a big country, it's a young country, and large number of people from small towns, from urban areas, rural areas, they aspire to be doctors. But then we have finite number of education opportunities. And we have to keep that into consideration where we can increase the opportunities for them. First is that we have to revisit you know, our existing you know, the educational institutions and see that particularly we have to look at those institutions where our seats are around 100 in number and all that so that you know, we can create more opportunities for their own because already the system does in place. But second is as I told you from the beginning that district hospitals are a very big you know, opportunity for us and we have got 740 districts approximately where you know we can see that district hospitals can be utilized as educational institutions by converting them to medical colleges and then creating you know upgrading sub district hospitals into district hospitals. The challenges will be that we will have to relocate people, physicians or our surgeons or our pediatricians and all that. But that's the state, so, you know, uh, state level, uh, I'll say, the policy where, you know, if it is created that people will be automatically posted in. In some of the states, it may not be a problem, you know. Uh, so that will be, you know, we have to look at, you know, our aspirational districts also mm -hmm. which are uh, approximately 107 in number and we have to see that you know basically over there also it may be a challenge but nothing is difficult let me see that so first we have to tap upon that but then on top of it there is a big private sector which will be willing to you know kind of start in edu uh, educational institutions but we also have to see that uh, from the perspective of the governance monitoring and all we provide quality education which is of standard and it's a skill based education so that we can create more doctors and also we must have a career progression opportunity also so that we can retain the doctors because what is important is that today what we are seeing is that, that we do create doctors but you see they are not able to settle down out here because of the lack of opportunities we see a lot many doctors from different institutions but they are not able to make to the you know, jobs and that's how they prefer to leave the country as well. So it is not only a question of creating the doctors, it's a question of having the career progression opportunities as well. So that becomes very, very important that we not only, you know, kind of after so many years of spending, you know, that many, you know, years of a uh, particular person's, you know, time hours, that means I'm talking from the teacher's perspective, I'm talking from the government perspective. It goes a huge, you know, amount into, I cannot convert into dollars, but it's a, it has a lot of value to it when it goes on to creation of a doctor. So that's where it is, as I said, the return on investment is also when you have, you know, our, uh, I'll say, opportunities for employment and career progression for our doctors. 
And the same thing earlier, what we were seeing for you know audiologists and all that. You know, the audiologists are a real commodity. The people who are doing you know hearing assessments and you know the people who are looking for hearing. So similarly, is you know if we look specialty wise, also there is a lot of difference. So we have to re-look into the possibility of retaining them in our own country so that it comes out.